from your own experience, what can you tell us about alternate universes and alternate realities? Well, that's part of the, the, some of the stuff that we were getting into with, with the Lovecraftian metaphysics, Transugethian magic, and, and some of the stuff that this, um, this fellow was also teaching us. It, part of it is called uh, alternate, uh, like serious star system magic, and that's not serious the star, not <laughs> serious like being serious. Uh, and, and part of it is called archaeometry. And the idea is, is that a, a magician learns how to penetrate the membrane between universes. And then he goes or she goes into a new universe. Because, of course, in, well, even in physics today, they're telling us they believe there's millions of alternate universes out there. The, the quantum physicists talk about that. So what we do is we, we, we would penetrate the membrane between universes and go into a new universe that we would refer to as a virgin universe. And there'd be this enormous amount of magical power available because it's, it's totally untapped. There's no life in this universe. And so you create life with the occult power you already have, okay? And then you become the god or goddess, the supreme deity of that universe. This is what we were taught. And then, if you really know what you're doing, you have the ability to take some of the power, because you think of this, I mean, think of how vast just this single universe is. How many galaxies, how many, I mean, they'd say there's like billions of galaxies out there, each of one of which has billions of stars. Think of the energy that's in like a universe. And you have the ability then, supposedly, as a magician, to pull this energy through the membrane back into this universe in which you live and use it for your own purposes. So that's, that's basically one of the highest and most dangerous forms of magic. People have found you guilty of 123 counts of first-degree murder and 123 counts of unauthorized travel to parallel universes. There's never been anything like what I have become. For these crimes, you have been sentenced to life without the possibility of return. Are you ready? Are you? What if there was a killer traveling through parallel universes and he looked just like you? The good news is, you're not crazy. The bad news. Before I saw him, I felt him. It was me. Don't move, Gabe. We're here to help you. Which one is he? What's wrong with you? Do you know where you are? Gabe. What if he would stop at nothing? to take over your world. Each time he kills one of you, the energy divides among the survivors. Maybe it's part of what's been going on with you. People get older, Gabe. They don't get stronger. They don't get faster all of a sudden. If we kill him, this whole universe could go with him. I just need to do it one more time. No! This is the only... What is archaeometry? Well, archaeometry, I think I've already touched upon it, it's, it's a very advanced branch of black magic and voodoo, which involves uh, cultivating the ability to enter into alternate universes. And then you go into these universes and you, um, you try and, and basically energize the universe, become the god of that universe, and then draw power from that universe back into your own universe. Uh, this started out basically as part of the, the worship of the star god Sirius, which is known in Egypt as Set, which is the, he's like the Egyptian version of the devil. And the idea was you had, because there was a black um, dwarf star of Sirius next to the white star Sirius, became known as Sirius A and Sirius B. And ancient magicians realized that they could use that black star as a gateway into an alternate universe. And so that's how they discovered universe B. And then later on there was universe C and D and E and et cetera, et cetera. And, and who knows now how many of these universes have been, so to speak, discovered. So that's the essence of it. What is its power? Well, it, it, first of all, it's a very advanced kind of magic which very few people can do. But if they can do it, it's, it's a very, uh, I mean, and again, I don't know even, you know, that's the trouble with this sort of thing. You don't know how much of this is even 
demonic delusion. I mean, do you really go into another dimension? Do you really go through this, like, dimensional gate? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But whatever it is, the person who comes back invariably seems to have amped up their power by a whole order of magnitude. So it's like squared, if you will, or something. So it is apparently a very potent way of augmenting your, your magical power. And, and it's believed by these people this is a very easy way of becoming a living god. Okay, and is there a downside to it? Well, yes, because whether or not this stuff is 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 really based on a genuine thing of, of physics or whatever, the fact of the matter is, is you're doing it by demonic power. And if you're indeed entering other universes, those are universes that are populated by extremely evil beings and extremely wise, cruel beings. And they're going to take advantage of you. They might not, you might not originally perceive that, but ultimately they're going to, you know, they're going to use you for their own purposes and then spit you out like, you know, so much used chewing tobacco and that will be the end of you. So, uh, I know I, I just have begun to work in this, um, and, and it was a very terrifying experience to go through that dimensional doorway. And, uh, I really, you know, Thankfully, I kind of was drawn back out of it, partly by my wife and partly by the Almighty Yahweh, before I could get too badly burnt by it.